His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, received at Gudabir Palace today the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed al Mullah, the Speaker of the Shura Council, Ali al Salah, and members of both councils in the presence of the former Representative Speaker, Khalifa al Dahrani. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister said that the Kingdom of Bahrain is not the only country that has made exceptional decisions to face the circumstances imposed by the current economic challenges. He said most of the region's countries had been forced to take similar steps to overcome the repercussions of the current phase, despite their different impact on different countries in the region. He explained that the rapid changes had created a new situation that had reduced the number of options and alternatives available and said that difficult and exceptional decisions had to be made. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed thanks and appreciation for the legislative authorities' stances in serving the country and the people and conveying their demands. He stressed the government's keenness to reinforce cooperation and coordination between the executive and legislative authorities and to guarantee the sustainability of joint cooperation in the best interests of the country and the people. The Prime Minister confirmed the importance of intensifying efforts to overcome the challenges of the current phase and welcomed different visions and views that would serve the general interest of the nation and the citizens.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, chaired at Gudabia Palace today the weekly cabinet meeting. His Royal Highness commended His Majesty the King's speech on regional developments, which was delivered during an audience with His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa al Khalifa in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamid al Khalifa and senior state officials. The cabinet meeting also praised the success of the seventh award ceremony of the UNESCO King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa Prize for the use of ICT in education, which was held at UNESCO's headquarters in Paris and attended by the Deputy Premier Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa on behalf of His Majesty the King. The cabinet said that the prize demonstrates His Majesty the King's care and encouragement for education as the source of knowledge, creativity and innovation, and also the pillar for the development and progress of civilization. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister followed up the ongoing preparations made by the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications and other relevant authorities to host the fourth Bahrain International Air Show, which will open on Thursday. With regards to challenges facing the general budget, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister assigned the relevant authorities to reduce and monitor government spending, particularly with regards to government officials. The directives come in line with Bahrain's steps to deal with the challenges facing the general budget caused by the fall in world oil prices and to protect the future of the country. The government has started, therefore, with itself to minimise its spending and guarantee that development continues. The Prime Minister also hailed the efforts of the Ministry of Commerce, Industry and Tourism to liaise with the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry to provide the necessary support and assistance for the Chamber to continue performing its vital role in strengthening the national economy. The Cabinet reviewed a memorandum regarding the tax for protecting national manufacturers from foreign competition. The memorandum implements the recommendations of the National Audit Office to continue a 20% customs tax on imported goods and products, similar to the products of national industries. The meeting also reviewed a memorandum on the system to protect consumers in GCC countries. The law comes in line with the GCC member states to unify Gulf laws and achieve economic integration, as well as to protect the interests and safety of consumers and preserve their rights. The Cabinet also took note of several proposals issued by the Representatives' Council. Following the meeting, the Minister of Information and Parliamentary Affairs, Issa al-Hamadi, held a press conference in which he outlined the issues discussed during the Cabinet meeting. The Minister confirmed the firm constitutional principle of separation of authorities and cooperation among them, saying that any request regarding constitutional tools would be dealt with in accordance with the legal and constitutional framework, including any official request to question any minister. Mr Alhamadi noted that the government action plan is clear with regards to its policies in reducing spending and increasing revenues. On regional and international issues, the minister explained that lifting sanctions or relations between the United States and Iran were not an issue for Bahrain. He pointed out that Bahrain has strategic historic relations with the United States and efforts are ongoing to further boost them. Also during the press conference, Mr Alhamadi affirmed that Bahrain International Air Show has developed by attracting major aviation companies and is now 80% self-funded. The commander of the Royal Guard, Brigadier General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, received yesterday at the Issa Air Base in the presence of the Royal Guard Special Force Commander, Major His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, the BDF's task force soldiers participating in Operation Restore Hope in Yemen alongside Saudi-led Arab coalition forces. The meeting was attended by senior BDF officers and families of the soldiers. His Highness expressed his thanks and appreciation to the soldiers for their dedication in performing their national duty alongside the Saudi-led Arab coalition forces and hailed their remarkable sacrifices for the sake of restoring legitimacy in Yemen.
The Minister of Energy, Dr. Abdul Hussein Mirza, took part in the International Renewable Energy Agency General Assembly meeting, which is being held in Abu Dhabi on the sidelines of Abu Dhabi Sustainability Week. The minister explained Bahrain's strategy with regards to energy sustainability through finding renewable sources of energy in Bahrain, most notably solar and wind energy. He said Bahrain's government is seeking, through the programme of the Sustainable Energy Unit, to set a national plan for energy efficiency and another plan for renewable energy, in addition to unifying efforts in this regard. The minister also welcomed cooperation with IRENA to benefit from the agency's experience in this regard. Abu Dhabi Sustainability Week is the groundbreaking global forum that unites strategists, policymakers and investors to address the challenges of renewable energy and sustainable development. The Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications and Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Organising Committee of Bahrain International Air Show, Kamal bin Ahmed, said today that the number of companies participating in the event has increased to 120 from 139 countries. He added that the facilities provided were making it easier for airshow visitors keen to watch the displays to enter and exit. The event is expected to see the st its strongest international presence yet, reflecting the event's growing standing on the global aviation calendar and cementing strategic relations between key nations. Now in its fourth edition, the BIAS is a niche aviation event, providing its elite list of aerospace business participants with the opportunity of high-level networking in exclusive surroundings. And an event as big as the Bahrain International Air Show 2016 requires considerable planning and preparation behind the scenes, as Paul Fraser reports. Preparations for the Bahrain International Air Show continue today at Sahir Air Base. For months, the air show has involved various government bodies and NGOs coming together to produce a fantastic spectacle and vibrant business environment. Head of the air operations team, Colonel Mamdou Abdullah Mohana, explained just some of the behind-the-scenes logistics. We are here at the air operations center for the air show. We work as a team with all my colleagues here to provide the services for all participating in the air show. We are actually a combination of a few agencies, the Royal Bahraini Air Force, the Bahrain Civil Aviation, and FAMBRA. As you can see around me here, we have uh, the people working with me as a team. We have Bahrain International Services, which provide all the services for the aircraft that will land here. Of course, aircraft lands here are um, different uh, types and uh, nationalities. Uh, we have the military and the civil, uh, commercial, trade. Uh, plus, we have FAMBRA team to the side there. We have the civil aviation on uh, the corner, uh, the Air Force this side, and we have also other people working in different areas, all under the air operation. Uh, we do it for our country, uh, and this is uh, not because it's only our job, but we're all Bahrainis. The air show is a showcase for what Bahrain is capable of doing and showing the world. With increased business participation and record visitor numbers expected, the organizing committee continued to ensure the success of the event. Flight Display Director, Colonel Rashid Bouali. This is the fourth air show of Bahrain International Air Show. The air show, I can see it very clearly, it gets bigger and bigger and larger and larger. And we saw many people, they want to participate as, uh, you know, in regard the, um, either the ex exhibitors or the aircraft, with their aircraft, to show the people their capabilities and to entertain people. Mainly it is for the trade side. But my job or our job is safety and entertaining the people with the air show. The Bahrain International Air Show takes off on the 21st until the 23rd of January at Sahir Air Base and promises to be the most spectacular yet. 
at Sahir Airbase for Bahrain Television. This is Paul Fraser.